Namaste, dear students. I am Bhumiraj Digari. I am from Pokhara 5 Prashen. Uh, I am going to teach you the lesson set for class 10. Chapter says, okay. Uh, dear students, the set you have been studying uh, this lessons from class 6 onwards, I think. So, you know, very uh, something about the topic. Let me give you the definition of the set. Uh, set is a collection of well defined objects. The set is a collection of well defined objects or things or numbers. Okay, let me give you just one example for the set. The collection of the students of class 10 is a well-defined set and let me give you the another example and you can compare the collection of the students of the tall students of class 10. Can you please identify the members which are tall in your class? I think it is not possible. So the collection of the tall students of class 10 is not well-defined. The, co the collection of the students of class 10 is a well-defined set. You know very well about it. Let me start the cardinality of a set from here. Cardinality. Cardinality of sets. Okay. Cardinality of set means the number of element of a set is called cardinality of a set. Let me give you one example of that. Okay. The number of elements of a set is a cardinality of sets. For example, set A contains the even numbers from 0 to 10, okay? 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Let me count the elements of the set A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are five elements, five members. So the number of elements of that set is five. Then we denote this by n of a. How we read it? n of a. n of a is equals to five. It means the set contains five elements. Okay, dear students, uh, let me give you an example about disjoint sets and overlapping sets. Okay. Uh, set A contains elements A, B, and C, and set B contains elements X, Y, Z. X, Y, Z. Okay, let me write another example here. Set A contains A, E, I, O, U. Okay, and set A contains a, B, C, D, E. Okay. And the cardinal, cardinal number of set A is N of, N of A is equals to 3. Here also N of B is equals to 3. N of M equals to? N of M equals to number of element of that set M. A, E, R, O, U. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 elements and N of Yon is equals to also 5 elements. Okay, let me give you the difference between these two sets. A union B is equals to, you know very well what is union means? All elements of set A and set B. But we do not repeat the elements twice. Okay, just try it please. Do you find any common elements here? No. Let me write A, B, C, X, Y, and Z. 
Now please tell me what is the cardinal number of A union B here? N of A union B equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 elements. How many elements contain in a set N of A union B? 6 elements. Here in set A there are 3 elements. In set B there are also 3 elements. That means what we conclude is that N of a union B is equals to N of A plus N of B. A contain three elements, set B contain also three elements. N of A union B equals to N of A plus N of B is equals to N of A equals to three, N of B equals to three equals to six. What we conclude is that if the sets are disjoined, N of A union B is equals to N of A plus N of B. Here, can we, follow, can we follow the same rule for when sets are overlapping? Okay. Let us talk about it, okay? Set M contain A, E, I, O, U and set M contain A, B, C, D, E. And of M is equals to 5, set of M equals to 5. Now, let us find young union young. All elements of set young and young. But we do not repeat the elements. A, A is here. Just we write once. E, E also here. A, E, I, O, U, B, C, I, D. Can you please tell me and of young union young is close to how many elements? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And of young union n is equals to 8. But let us compare with these. Here, young contain 5 elements, young contain 5 elements. The sum of the elements containing young and young are by looking here 5 plus 5, 10. But young union n equals to 8. Why this happen? Can you find the Differences between here? Yes, the, the elements, elements A and E are repeated in both sets. So we count A and E for just one time. So that's why the formula is made like this. N of yon plus N of Yon minus N of Yon intersection Yon. Yes. Okay. N of Yon equals to 5 plus N of Yon equals to 5 minus Yon intersection Yon means the common elements of say Yon and Yon. How many elements are common there? A and E. Two elements are common. So we reduce 2 from here is equals to 10 minus 2 8. Let me show this information in Venn diagram as well. Can you please see from here? Let me draw here. Okay. Okay. This is set A, set Young. This is set Yen. This is the common portion for both set Yen and Yen. The elements common are A and E. And this is the portion just for only Yen. So the elements which are present only in Yen, not in Yen. So these are the elements present only in Yon but not in Yon. So we write this here. I, O and U. And similarly here. A and E already present here. This is the portion just for only Yon. B, C and D. B, C and D. This is the complete Venn diagram. We can also observe 
this formula we can also compare this formula with this Venn diagram Young union Young means the all portion of Young and Young how can you please count all elements present in Young and Young from the Venn diagram obviously 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 that equals to 8 okay I think it is much more clear about you. Okay, uh, we talk about, we learn about problems including two sets. And okay, here is a one Venn diagram. Okay, uh, using by looking or studying this Venn diagram, it will be much more easier to understand. Okay, this is a set A. This Set A, this diagram contains the element that present in set A and this is a diagram for set B that contain the elements present in set B and this is, this is the portion which is present in A and present in B both. So this is a common portion for A and B both. So it is written as an of A intersection B. The anof A intersection B is a common person for A and B both. And this is this rectangular portion is a universal set that contain two subsets A and B. And you know this this is the anof only A. Anof only A means the person which contain the elements present only in set A but not in set B and this is also a person which contain only in B not in set A and the person out of these two circles or two diagrams is an of A union B complement an of A union B complement means the person, the elements or the members out of A union B but which are in universal set or in a big set okay let us talk about some formula related to two sets okay formula some formula some formula okay I and of a union B is equals to an of A plus an of B. An of A union B is equals to an of A plus an of B. Let me write another formula. An of an of A union B is equals to an of A plus an of B minus an of A intersection B. Okay. You might get some confusion here. Here is n of a union b. Here is also n of a union b. The but the expansion is different. Why? Because we use this formula when set a and set b are disjoint. Okay. A and b are disjoint. Disjoint. Here, the set A and B are overlapping. They may have some common elements. At that condition, we use this formula. Okay, likewise, in a third, and of only A. You see the diagram placed everybody. How do we find an of only A? Let me tell you, let me explain you that diagram again. This diagram contains the elements of set A. From this A, if you subtract this common portion, this common portion from this whole A, what will be left? The portion which is present only in A. That's why an of only A is equals to an of A minus an of a intersection B. Likewise, 
n of only b is equals to n of b minus n of a intersection b. Okay, we have another formula for n of n of a union b. Please see the Venn diagram. I am going to tell you one more formula for n of a union b. Okay, the sum of only a, only b, and n of a intersection b. Then what will be that sum equals to n of a union b? Please you can write yourself n of only a plus n of only b plus n of a intersection b. And let me tell you another formula for using two sets. Okay, if you subtract n of a union b, okay, this, this, this portion from universal set, what will be left? n of a union b complement. Then what is the formula for n of a union b complement? n of a union b complement is equals to n of u minus n of a union b. I request my dear students to remember this formula. I think uh, it is not possible to re re uh, remember uh, within this class. So I request you to revise this formula after this class, please. Then it will be easy to use the formula to solve the problem related to two sets. Write the given information in the question n of u is equals to 30. n of u equals to 30. The total number of people, total number of students participated in a survey are 30. And 30 likes to play at least one of the two games. It means they like to play at least one of the two games. It means there are no students who do not like to play any games. It means n of c union b is equals to 30. n of c union b equals to 30. Also, we have more information in the question. 20 like to play cricket. n of c is equals to 20 and n of b is equals to 15. Now, we need to find out how many students like to play both games. Okay, both games means n of c intersection b is equals to what? Let us find, okay, we have a formula to find the c intersection b. It means the number of students who like to play both games. We have, we have n of c intersection b is equals to n of c plus n of b minus n of c inter union b, c union b. Okay, this equals to n of c equals to 20 plus n of b is equals to 50 minus n minus n of c union b is equals to 30. Okay, 20 plus 50, 35 minus 30, that equals to 5. 5 is the number of students who like to play both games. Okay, now illustrate the above information in Venn diagram. We are going to represent this information in Venn diagram. Let us draw a Venn diagram. Okay, the Venn diagram is like that. This is universal set. Okay, that contains all the members participated in a survey and we have two different sets here 
these cells is represent for the normal officers who like to play cricket and this diagram is for the normal officers who like to play volleyball B and this person is common person for both those who like to play cricket as well as volleyball how many students like to play both games? We have already found that five like to play both games. Okay, so we write here five time. This diagram is stands for C cricket. How many like to play cricket? Twenty like to play cricket. Okay, in this circle in this diagram already five students are there how many are left over for the students who like to play only cricket 20 minus 5 is equal to 15 15 like to play only cricket and also let us go for this if you want to play volleyball you can play volleyball र तपाईले भलिबल मन पराउनेहरुको डायग्राम भित्र पाँच जना विद्यार्थीहरुलाई राखि सक्नु भएको छ अब भन्नुस् भलिबल मन पराउनेहरु भलिबल मात्र मन पराउनेहरुको संख्या कति छ ठीक यदि ओके यो तपाईहरुलाई मैले ड्र गरेको डायग्राम कम्प्लेक्स डायग्राम भयो यहाँ यो क्रिकेट युनियन भलिबल भन्दा बाहिर विद्यार्थीहरु छैनन् भन्ने कुरा हामीलाई पर्सनली क्लियर गरिसकेको छ के भनेको छ भने कि दुईवटा गेमहरु मन पराउने त्यहाँ सर्वेमा पार्टिसिपेट भएका सम्पूर्ण विद्यार्थीहरु मध्ये एक न एक गेम खेल्छन् भनेको अर्थ एउटा पनि गेम नखेल्ने विद्यार्थीहरुको संख्या छैन गेमै मन नपराउने विद्यार्थीको संख्या छैन भने देखि सी युनियन बी कम्प्लिमेन्टमा केही पनि मेम्बरहरु छैन एम्प्टी सेल छ फाइभ भयो बाहिर कोही पनि मेम्बरहरु पर्दैन अब यदि यही प्रश्नमा तपाईहरुलाई क्रिकेट मात्रै मन पराउनेहरुको संख्या कति भनेर सोधेको भए कि तपाईहरु भन्न सक्नुहुन्छ क्रिकेट मात्रै मन पराउनेहरुको संख्या 50 हो तपाईहरुलाई भलिबल मात्रै मन पराउनेहरुको संख्या कति भनेर सोधेको भए कि यसको आन्सर के हुने थियो होला 10 हुने थियो र यो यही प्रश्नमा त यही प्रश्न क्वेशनमा हामीले एउटा वन मोर प्रश्न पनि क्वेशन पनि एड गर्न सक्छौ त्यो क्वेशन के हुन सक्छ भने कि यो सर्वेमा पार्टिसिपेट भएका विद्यार्थीहरु मध्ये एउटा मात्रै गेम खेल्ने को संख्या कति भनेर सोधेको भए कि तपाईहरु गेस गर्नुस् प्लीज क्यान यु प्लीज गेस हाउ मेनी स्टुडेंट्स प्ले ओन्ली वन गेम हाउ मेनी स्टुडेंट्स प्ले ओन्ली वन गेम ओके लेट मी आक्स यू म तपाईहरुलाई सोध्न चाहन्छु यो संख्याले कति वटा यो विद्यार्थीहरुले कति वटा गेम खेल्छन् एउटा मात्र गेम खेल्छन् र यो विद्यार्थीहरुले पनि कति वटा गेम खेल्छन् एउटा मात्र गेम खेल्छन् त्यसर्थ ले गर्दा कि एउटा मात्र गेम खेलेहरुको संख्या कति भयो त 25 यदि तपाईहरुलाई यो प्रश्नमा एउटा मात्रै गेम खेल्ने विद्यार्थीहरुको संख्या कति भनेर सोधेको भए देखि तपाईहरुको आन्सर के हुने थियो 25 हुने थियो त्यो 25 कसरी आयो लेट मी एड इट हियर ओन्ली ए प्लस ओन्ली बी यो चाहिँ एउटा मात्रै गेम खेल्ने विद्यार्थीहरुको संख्या हो ल विद्यार्थी बाबु नानीहरु तपाईहरुले आजको यो प्रश्न आजको फर्म फर्मुलाहरुलाई फेरि पुनः तपाईहरु रिकल गर्नुहुनेछ भन्ने मैले आशा लिएको छु र हामी भोलिको क्लासमा टु भेन डायग्राम सँग रिलेटेड अन्य प्रब्लमहरुमा छलफल गर्नै छौ मलाई आशा छ यस्ता खालका प्रब्लमहरु तपाईहरुको टेक्स्ट बुकमा हेरेर तपाईहरुले घरमा प्र्याक्टिस गर्नुहुनेछ र आजको क्लास यही नै अन्त्य गरौ थ्याङ्क यु